Welcome to today's video. I have not decorated for Christmas for years and I was in need of all new Christmas decorations. I hired a stylist and I am so excited to give you our Christmas decor tour. Let's start with outside. Every day, my kids and I have our after school snacks right here. And I think this is so fun and festive. Just a little bit of touch of lanterns, some pillows. All of the decorations came from Target, TJ Maxx, and a local boutique. And all of my greenery came from a boutique in Salt Lake. I'll have the two names right here because I cannot remember on the top of my head. If you come over here, we have some trees a Christmas mat, and these are some awesome wreaths. I love having the ribbon right here with the bells. So cute and festive. And of course I have my Christmas onesie. This makes me speechless. All of the garland and the ribbon is just so whimsical. And right now the sun is setting and it just literally feels like I'm in a cabin. Like this is how a cabin would feel right now. It just is so beautiful. I love all the greenery and just the touch of light. And then over here, we moved my big painting upstairs and we moved our photo of Christ downstairs. And for some reason, it makes this room feel so much bigger than it was. I love this room having the big photo of Christ. Um, I got that from a store in Provo and I will link that also as well. Got some pillows from TJ Maxx, got some greenery. We grabbed a new lamp to make this bigger, a bigger lamp over here. And I am a sucker for photos. All the photos we take, I wanna display, and I'm so happy we have so many photos around now. This is just my favorite. It's my mom and I with baby June in my tummy. Then we have her right here. This is a sweet figurine my mom gave me years ago. Come over here. I will turn the lights on, but it just feels so magical. We moved these chairs that were over there so we could fit our Christmas tree and grabbed an end table here. We added a few more touches to our shelves. That was one of my favorite photos of Jackson. I believe that was when he turned two. The fireplace mantle, I couldn't be happier with. I couldn't do this on my own. Having a stylist come and help me do this was really fun. This greenery feels so real. And of course I have tons of photos of the kids when they were little. This is like my all time favorite photo of all the three boys. This is my favorite tree I've ever done and I did it all by myself. So either people are going to say they, maybe it looks like someone threw up on it or they'll say they love it. Um, I think you have to go one way or the other, but I'm really proud of myself. Jared and I wrapped ribbon around the whole tree and then we wrapped three different kinds of beads we wrapped gold beads tiny beads and some big white beads and then we just put tons and tons of decorations on it i ordered more than half of our christmas decorations last year and then this year i ordered the other half so it's taken me two years to get the decorations. Everything that I've wanted, I love these. These came from a local boutique. Um, I love the picture frames so much. And then the kids will have their very own tree upstairs, but I still love adding the touches of the kids on this tree. I love at night turning on our fireplace outside. That also feels just so magical. The weather is getting a little chillier. So, I mean, it was only like, what, 75 degrees today? <laughs> <gasps> and then we have this corner, which I really love. Um, of course, we just have tons of photos around the house. I love these two, Calvin and Tommy. 
so sweet. We have had our Christmas tree up for what? Five days and June has not touched it. She's not touched it. She came over earlier, crawled, looked at it and crawled back to play with her little dollhouse. I was blown away. She hasn't touched it. So I say that now she'll probably wake up from her nap and then like be all over the tree. But so far she has not touched it. She is a very, very honestly dainty girl. She's very meticulous. She's really, really funny. I'm shocked she didn't touch it. Right here, this is what our coffee table looks like. I really wanted to do this video too, to let you guys have any ideas of what you would want to do with your house because I am not a decorator. I'm not very good at it. So I, I love to watch how other people style their coffee tables. This is what we've done with ours. And we've got a little baby. This is a choking hazard. So I'm actually gonna take all of this off, um, but I left this on yesterday because I had a Christmas food favorite at my house. So we had like 45 women over here. We were eating treats, talking about Christmas traditions. So I had this styled for that, but now that it's over, I'm gonna take a lot of this down, but I thought that was so cute. Two of the boys. Come over here into the kitchen. I'm going to actually be sad when we take Christmas down because I feel like our house has is like full of life right now with decor. So I'm definitely gonna have to make sure we have enough decor for spring when, when um, Christmas is over. Can I leave this up till spring? Um, I love what we did on the back of the chairs. So we didn't put holes in the chairs. We just took like little green zip ties and put them through the holes of these chairs and pin them like that. I love these chairs. Um, they're like plastic and I they wipe up really good with the kids. Like the kids eat and like smush stuff in here. Um, they wipe up really good. So I've loved having these chairs. Got a touch of decor right here. This is my absolute favorite. The kids came home from school today and I had water boiled for them. So they all climbed up and made their own hot cocoa. We've got our little station here that we're probably gonna leave up all winter. And then we just have a little touch of decor on the table as well. I really love these. I got them from a like boutique like store when I lived in Logan. And I just thought they were so beautiful. And I'm really glad to have a little touch of red. And then lastly, we have this area over here where the kids have all their coloring books. We've got extra snacks over here. And this is where I make a lot of June's food every day. I steam up apples, sweet potatoes all of the time on this little baby steamer. That is how we set up our house for Christmas. Um, it definitely takes years to build up your Christmas decor. I can't wait to set up the Christmas tree upstairs with the kids. They have all their ornaments. We've got lots of fun, colorful garlands and stuff up there for the kids. And I love reading the kids the whole month of December, their nighttime books under the Christmas tree. So we're definitely gonna start that as well. I love the spirit that Christmas brings. As a busy mom, I like to get my Christmas up really early. I think I'm going to start even earlier next year. Honestly, the very beginning of November, I think is ideal for me to set up Christmas. It just brings in the whole holiday festivities, the spirit. I love having nice dinners, Thanksgiving. With it all set up, I'm just able to enjoy the holiday spirit a lot longer. Thank you guys so much for watching our Christmas decoration tour. I hope you guys were inspired a little bit on what you could do with your own house. I had so much fun. It brought me so much joy to buy new decor, to set it up, and to film it for you guys. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in our next video. Bye guys.